Shalom, everybody. Rabbi Edelstein here with this week's installment of Rabbi Ian 3, brought to you by Moor DC. Please find us on Facebook or at MORDC.com and be in touch. Now, it's morning time, and I'm glad it's morning time that I'm doing this video. Why? I actually tried to do it last night, Thursday night, and you know what? It didn't get processed by YouTube, which I guess happens occasionally. I'm not complaining because we learned in last week's Rabbi in 3 not to complain. It destroys our Simcha Sachayim. It destroys our whole sense of joy in life, which doesn't mean I listened to my advice. I did complain a lot this past week, but I'm not complaining about that. I'm very happy it's Friday morning as I record this video, because how to get up in the morning is the very topic of this video. What do I mean? It's the portion of Balak in the book of Bamidbar, book of Numbers, and it concerns the attempts of a Moabite king named Balak and in a talented but evil and lowly soothsayer, wise person of a sort, called Bilam, that Balak hires to curse the Jewish people. They want to curse the Jewish people as they're poised to enter the land of Canaan, the land of Israel. And the whole motif of the portion is that, no matter how much Bilam tries to curse, Hashem puts words of blessing in his mouth. So he utters some of those beautiful, lofty, and inspiring blessings about the Jewish people from his unholy mouth. Ah, so I want to focus on one point about getting up in the morning. Bilam has been brought by Balak to look down from a high point on the encampment of the Jewish people and curse them. But Hashem puts a blessing in his mouth. And what does he say? Hen am kilavi yakum. Behold, they're like a lion that gets up, that arises. Now, there are many different understandings we could have of this, but Rashi quotes a rabbinic tradition. Beautiful. What does it mean? They get up like a lion. So Rashi says, When they get up in the morning, they don't shout coffee right away. Maybe they do, but when they, the, the, the essence of the Jewish people, when they get up in the morning, they strengthen themselves like a lion to grab on to mitzvot to grab on to doing commandments. It's a beautiful Rashi. Now, you think about it, lions sleep a lot. They actually sleep like 20 hours a day. So the Torah is not telling us, or Bilaam's not telling us to sleep 20 hours a day. But, but when you think about it, how does a lion get up? I don't mean the exact mechanism, but what's on a lion's mind when it gets up? Surely, pray, P-R-E-Y. What's on the Jewish people's mind? Pray. P-R-A-Y, ha ha, that's my little pun. But the point is, the essence of getting up in the morning Judaically is to see the world as an opportunity to grab mitzvot. That's the beautiful Lashon expression of Rashi, to grab the mitzvot. Our whole focus in the day should be to grow spiritually, to do mitzvot, saying the Shema, praying, P-R-A-Y, loving God. That's a constant mitzvah, no matter whether you go, maybe you're not going to synagogue, maybe you're not you're too busy to go to shul or to daven, per se. But you can think about Hashem, you can think about faith, that's a constant mitzvah. You can think about loving Hashem, loving your life. By the way, when you wake up in the morning, we're supposed to say, I give thanks to you, O God, for returning my soul to me. Great is your faithfulness. We say to Hashem, you have faith in me. To wake up the day, feeling that God has faith in us, that we can grab onto mitzvot. We can make it a day of spiritual content. That's the way to get up in the morning. And yeah, have your coffee too. Enjoy it. Use that coffee to do energy and do mitzvot. Have a great Shabbos. Ah, I'm excited.